Hey, can you hang out? Psh, I wish. I have to do a stupid science homework on some retarded epic called Pliocene. That sucks. in general is just retarded. Whoa, 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 no, no. What the heck? Oh, what the heck is this guy doing to my lights? Sorry about the knocking you out thing. Don't take it personal. Are you insane? Anywho, I've attached a duplex capacitor to the electrical wiring in your light switch, which when activated by a remote control will send us faster than the speed of light into any time period I choose. What does that have to do with anything? Well, since you and your buddy think the Pliocene epic is retarded, I've decided to bring you back in time to show you just how interesting- Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said anything about the Pliocene the thing of Majigger being retarded. So I think I'm gonna go now. So, you know, I still have to, take, I still have to eat dinner and too late. monkey spoon in the closet. What is he? Nobody knows. Carter, wake up! Oh, what? Yeah, it's time. Let's go! Yeah. Why is this epic called the Pliocene? Well, the Pliocene was named by Sir Charles Lyell. The name comes from the Greek words Pleon, which means more, and Kaino, which means new, and means roughly a continuation of the recent, referring to the essentially modern marine mollusk faunas. Faunas? Yes, faunas, meaning all the animal life in a particular region or period. In the official time scale of the ICS, the Pliocene is subdivided into two stages. The Zanclean stage, which was from 5 million years ago to 3.6 million years ago, and the Piacenzian stage, which was from 3.6 million years ago to 1.8 million years ago. The Piacenzian is sometimes referred to as the Late Pliocene, whereas the Zanclean is referred to as the Early Pliocene. So since we are 2.4 million years in the past, we are in the Piacenzian stage of the Pliocene. Very good. Is that a dinosaur? In fact, no. The dinosaurs have been extinct for a bit over 60 million years from the period in time we are right now. Yikes. But that doesn't necessarily mean we are safe. Did you know that the rattlesnake first appeared in the Pliocene? I hate snakes. Snakes are nothing compared to a ground sloth. The things that sit in trees and walk really slow? No, not a sloth. A ground sloth. The things that when they stand on their hind legs they are an astonishing 20 feet high or twice the size of an elephant. Yeah, if I go home and I'm missing a limb or two, I don't know how I'm going to tell my mom I was attacked by a giant ground sloth from 2.4 million years ago! Oh, don't worry. They only eat plants. Thank God. Well, we can't learn much by sitting here. Let's go! It's a wild pack of homotherium. Homotherium, the scientific name for the animal commonly referred to as a scimitar cat. Well, it looks like saber with two tigers to me. Well, that's because homotherium is an extinct genus of macarodontine saber toothed cats. Ah, oh, snake! Shh. Don't move. Steady. Steady. Go! Carter, are you crazy? You almost got us killed! What was that? That 
That's the sound of an Ostropolithecus. Oh my god, is it going to kill us? It's a genus of extinct hominids. In English? It's one of the early evolution forms of humans. That's sweet! Wait a second, my science teacher said they didn't appear till late, late Pliocene. They didn't. Then that means... We're moving through time rapidly. At this rate, we don't have much time until the... Supernova. Carter, how do you know this? My dad watches the Discovery Channel sometimes. In 2002, astronomers discovered that roughly two million years ago, around the end of the Pliocene epoch, a group of bright OMB stars called the Scorpius Centaurus OB Association passed within 150 light years of Earth, and that one or more supernova may have occurred at this time. Such a close explosion could have damaged the, damaged the Earth's ozone layer and caused the extinction of some ocean life. At its peak, a supernova this size could have had the same absolute magnitude as the entire galaxy of 200 billion stars. The whole Ethereum are coming! We have to get back to the time machine or the supernova will kill us all. When will it occur? 34,000 years, but at the rate we're moving, 34 seconds, 33, 32, 31. Let's, Let's go! go! Something happened. Something happened. The Homo Theorem came and it left me back and I don't know what happened, but they're gonna try to get in here. Stop it. Are they gonna come in my bathroom? No. I closed the portal by activating it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I think you only switched eight times. Oh no, I know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I switched it nine times. So what did you learn on this great adventure? I learned that the Pliocene epoch was divided into two parts and that a supernova ended it. And what did you learn? I learned that ground sloths are bigger than my house and homotherium aren't so friendly. And with that, I think my job is done. What, what job? job? Yeah, I gotta go eat dinner now. See ya, Ned. What a day. Oh. What a weird dream. Better get started on this Pliocene homework. When they stand on the hind legs, they are an astonishing 20 feet high, or twice the size of an elephant. Thank God. What? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's a wild pack of homotherium. Faunus, meaning all the...